Hey everyone, um, I just thought I'd try and make a short video. Um, Ralph asked if I could show um, what the respirator was that I'd purchased. Um, I was just having another look as well on the back of my um, super glue thing and it says on there about, um, you know, use adequate ven ventilation. You know, uh, it actually says on here, avoid contact with clothing as can cause burn. Um, and, you know, the vapours are obviously dangerous as well, hence why you need ventilation. But we, we often don't think about it and that there might be long t longer term consequences um, from prolonged use. And um, a lot of you, um, particularly as a lot of my viewers are in the UK, um, a lot of you guys have um, hobby rooms that, you know, are like the box room or the spare bedroom, which is usually a smaller room. And so you tend to probably do a lot of your super gluing or even your plastic gluing um, in a relatively confined space. Um, not everyone has a, a setup where they can um, have a more open ventilation. Um, in the short term, you probably won't notice that it's causing you any harm, but um, over a longer period of time, over years, and depending how often you hobby or you know how close you are to your work and how poorly ventilated it is, um, those vapours, if they can burn your skin or whatever, burn clothing or whatever, imagine what they're doing to the mucous membranes of your um, sinuses and stuff like that over the longer exposures. Um, combine that with the other products that we use on a regular basis. Um, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to scaremonger or anything like that. I'm just saying, as I said in my previous video, a cautionary tale, something to think about. Some of you might decide not to do anything and that's fair enough um but but just in case you are and you're already having problems this is this is the uh respirator i bought it looks scary but it, it, it's it's very commonplace used by um tradies uh painters and decorators and um in in you know um domestic and industrial applications um now they come with um various types of filters for depending on work you do, if you're doing woodwork and there's particulate from fine sawdust or anything like that, you have a different type of filter for that. For um, ethyl cyanoacrylate, which is it's which is the chemical in um, which is super glue, um, and also probably for the plastic adhesives, you want one that is um, has filters for um, organic vapors, what they call organic vapors um so yeah so this is the i bought the one and, and i think for our purposes unless you want to protect your eyes as well um for me someone like me i've got prescription glasses plus i wear magnifying uh, lenses over the top so i want something that's like a half mask so um yeah and you get in the pack um, that you buy um you get some filters in there um you probably just need to check see if it says on the packaging which filters they are I bought a spare set um, of filters and um, that are rated for um, organic vapor, the 3M ones. This is one. This is one of the commonest brands, certainly in Australia and the United States. It is, and I'm fairly certain that these these are available um, in the UK, in Europe as well. Although I'm sure there are other manufacturers. Certainly the um, the uh, pamphlets, the huge pamphlets that come with it, have sort of just about every language. <laughs> common more common language that you can think of um on it um yeah and these are rated for organic vapor as you, as you can see up the top of the box um so yeah i put my filters in um simply a matter it comes with two two fabric outer filters um you take one out and just leave the one and then underneath that you, this piece clicks onto the um uh the actual cartridge these cartridges and what what they suggest is that you try and keep a log of how long you've used it um, because the I mean it how long they'll last kind of depends on a lot of different vari variables but generally speaking they reckon you can get about eight hours of use now for us hobbyists that can be we're not super gluing all the time or spraying all the time or anything. We're doing it in short bursts generally. It might be for 20 minutes or who knows what. 
But if you can keep a rough track, then over time you can figure out, well, have I, have I, have I clocked up my eight hours yet and do I need to change my cartridges? So, yeah, um, I got a large, I think for average adult male, that's probably, depending on your head size, um, that's probably a good size because obviously, you know, they're made for males and females and, and younger people as well. But, um, yeah, um, I've got a bushy beard, so um, <laughs> it might, um, I'm not sure if it's going to block 100% of everything, but I'm not going to shave my beard off just to use this. But um, what you can do is when you, if you want to get a better seal, is when you put it first put it on, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little bit tricky, um, when you first put it on, just cup your hands over each side at the same time, breathe in and to bring that seal in. If you have got a beard or, or you know, you want to just get it a nice tight snug seal, suck some air in with these covered um, just to get a snugger fit. And obviously it's got um, the straps on the back that allow you to, um, this strap here, this goes on over your head, just above the top of your ear and hangs on. This one goes, um, is made of a different material and goes over the top of that. And generally what happens is, actually no, does this go around your neck? I might have that wrong. Anyway, it'll say on the packaging. I think this goes around your neck, beg your pardon, because, um, yeah, this goes above the ear. Because, um, yeah, what you can do is you can easily... Flick this top bit off and then this bit just hangs around your neck and you don't lose it. All right. Well, um, that's about all I can tell you. Um, all I can say is that um, these are quite common. If you go into your DIY store, hardware shop store um, of any reasonable size, I don't live in a very big place. It's sort of like somewhere between a large village and a small town and they had them on the shelves. So, um Check with a, a knowledgeable um, shop assistant who might know, you know, make sure, making sure you get the right cartridges um, if you can or just try and read the fine print. I even looked on online and um, briefly spoke to a, um, like a sales consultant person who worked for 3M in Australia because I was, I wanted to make sure I was getting the right thing. But I mean, as it was when I went to the shop, it was pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. So you should better find these in... Um, in your hardware stores, um, big box stores, um, yeah, okay, I hope that was helpful to, to some of you, um, and yeah, this is, I'm just sort of, I'm not in my normal space, because this is where, if I want to do super gluing, or work with nasties like that, and I'd prefer not to, I'd rather do one piece castings, or find some other way of doing it, um, I'm just sort of out in my, this is the garage, um, so if, if the weather's suitable, I can open up that end and, and we've got the back door here as well. So we can get ventilation and the fumes, the vapours that uh, super glue and plastic adhesives and who knows what else sprays can, um, can dissipate. Um, so you, you don't want them because they hang in the air for quite a while. Um, and the, what you've glued or sprayed gives off vapour as well. It's not just coming from the spray can or the, the bottle it, it's coming off what you've just put it on it's there are still fumes and vapors so anyway guys hope that's helpful i will see you in the next video bye for now